Give it for you. Yep. Yeah, for you. Body and blood of Jesus, give it for you. That's the body and blood of Jesus, give it for you. And for you. Hey, she, your partner over there has her hand out. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And for me. All right, so the Lord's Supper. Uh, started out a long time ago. We have the benefit of knowing as I'm fixing this, to say again, because it's worthy of repeating, even though we've heard it a hundred times, it's worthy of repeating the story. We have the benefit of knowing what this represents. Christ's body broken on the cross for us, brutally, brutal death, and his blood, which watches over our sins, because we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We're born that way, and we have to be redeemed. So God made that way through this. But the first Lord's Supper, uh, the 12 didn't understand right. what he was doing. They were eating dinner. And at the end, he had, had the bread and he had the wine. And, uh, and uh, he was exposing to them what was coming. Right. But we have the benefit of knowing what happened. Uh, so as usual, I will pray over the bread we we'll eat that and I pray over the bread we'll eat that. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for being present here today, Lord. There's two or more of us are gathered in your name. So we know that your Holy Spirit is here with us. And what an honor that is, Lord. You don't have to be here. You want to be here. And you didn't have to go to the cross for us, but you wanted to go to the cross for us because you knew it was the only way for us to be re reunited with the God that loved us and created us so that we could have a relationship with him. We messed that up with sin. And once sin came into the world, it was in the world. So we thank you, Lord, for coming, walking as a man, yes. being cold just like we're yes. cold, being hungry right. just like we're hungry, yes. and being fearful just like we're fearful sometimes, Lord. You understand us because you walk in our shoes. So the fact that we know how that feels and to know what you did for us is humbling, Lord. So we thank you and we ask God that you bless this bread which does represent Christ's body broken and given for us on the cross so that we would have hope to be reunited with you in the world. Amen. Amen. And likewise, God, we pray that you will bless this cup for what this cup represents bless us beyond all measure. Without it, we're hopeless. We're hopelessly lost, Lord. We know that this blood covers our sins, past, present, future. As you said, it is done, complete. No matter what happens to us here in this temporary place, we know because of this blood that we'll stand before the judgment seat of God one day and appear holy and blameless because of Christ's sacrifice for us out of love. So we thank you for that love, and we vow, Lord, to spread that love to everyone around us, especially our brothers and yes. sisters in Christ. Yes. And I pray, Lord, that if anyone here doesn't know that relationship, that they'll ask someone in us in the yellow vest, because we would love to share that good news with them, that there is hope, more than hope, there is assurance yes. yeah. that we can walk with you for eternity, Lord. So we just thank you, God. We ask that you bless this ceremony with this blood, representing Christ's blood, that's for us on the cross. Jesus, mm -hmm. pray, amen. Mm -hmm. amen.